Good evening everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new stream of Final Fantasy XIV. So tonight, we're actually not going to be continuing the main quest just yet, as uh, we're going to undertake the Hildebrand questline, a rather lengthy side story that, that, that was featured in uh, the original A Realm Reborn. So, this particular questline is notable in being particularly humorous. It features a lot of slapstick humor and exaggerated reactions, so... Just so you know. So, we're gonna speak to Wyman here, who's gonna put us on our way. The rise and fall of gentlemen. An old acquaintance of Wyman is at wit's end, and the businessman will have you help her. I hear you've been busy as a bee, Kukumo. Seems have the whispers what comes my way relate to your comings and goings. Being the active type you are, I reckon you'd be interested in investigating some queer rumors, am I right? But before that, let me ask, ever heard of a man named Hildebrand? Nope. Have you heard of Hildebrand before? No. To hear him tell it, he was Eorzea's greatest and most famous inspector. Still, can't say I'm surprised you don't know him. To his credit, Hildebrand and his assistant had a knack for showing up when something shady was afoot. As for sussing out the culprits, well, he has had his moments, though I hesitate to give him sole credit. Any road, five years ago, he gets it in his head that he's cracked the code of Messiah's seventh verse, Dalamud, the Calamity, all of it can be stopped, he says, so long as he finds the hero of prophecy, and wouldn't you know it, the hero is Hildebrand himself. So he flies off towards Dalamud, yes fly, aye that's right, he flew, launched himself straight into the air somehow, ridiculous as it sounds. Of course, it's only logical that he's got to come back down, though it was only recently that we found his body. Hmm, I had reason for bringing this up. Alright, so Nashu, Hildebrand's erstwhile assistant, has since become an inspector in her own right. At present, she's investigating the queer rumors I mentioned earlier. She's sweet lass, a bit daft, but sweet never nonetheless. But So when I hear she's at wit's end, I want to help. Thing is, I prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living zombies, are most definitely not my forte. So, if you're willing, I'd be grateful if you lent her a hand. As for where to find her, she's like to visit Hildebrand's grave in the lichyard when she's frustrated. Try looking for her there first. And this is what we're gonna do. So we'll be headed to Camp Drybone to deal with that. The first section of this quest is rather depressing in a sense, seeing as Hildebrand is actually believed to be dead. So we'll see what Nashu has to say on the subject. We'll actually be unlocking quite a bit of stuff as we get through this, among others, three special trials, which will only become available if you've gone through this particular storyline. All of it is optional though, but I strongly urge you to actually go through it. It's really a treat. I actually much prefer it to the ones we've had in Heaven's Word, although Stormblood was pretty strong in its own right. Any. So there's old Nashu Makaraka here, who is also related, if I'm not mistaken, to the person uh, who does the Easter event. She's also related to one of the songbirds, isn't she? Anywho, that's besides the point. Oh, if only you were still alive, Inspector. You know how to stop these zombies. Ah, you there. Could it be? You've come to offer your services to me. Something like that. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. Ahem, my name is Nashu, agent of inquiries, extraordinary inspector. Or something like that. At least that's what I'm trying to be. It's not quite as easy as he made it look. Inspector Hildebrand was a great man, a really Orzian hero. He traveled the world, me and him, solving cases and thwarting evil, no matter the mystery. You can always count on the inspector to solve it with grace and style. But then there was the final case, the case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. 
save us all. He flew into the sky, and all I could do was watch. That is one thing I've been wondering, whether Hildebrand was actually in the original Final Fantasy XIV, before Realm Reborn was made. But then, then he came back down, and he... he... Oh, echo time. Poor thing. This is all a joke. Big funny joke. Right, Inspector? Any moment now, you'll burst out of the ground and shout, Surprise! Had you fooled, eh? And, and we'll laugh and laugh. Hmm. So much for Father Iliad, huh? Hildebrand Manderville, beloved son. Snivel sob. They say, they say no one remembers the Warriors of Light. Their names, their faces, all gone forever. But I remember you, Inspector. No, gentleman hero Hildebrand. I always wondered what was the deal with that sword and shield. Must be family weapons or something. I can never be the hero you were, but I'll do my best to try. There she went and stripped down right in front of the camera. Oh my! Just like that. I, Nashu, Inspector Extraordinaire, will carry on your legacy. And how's that working out for you? Nashu's fine, but she's out over the depths. So I told myself, well, Nashu, there must be a leader, a head zombie, who tells the rest what to do. Therefore, all we need to do is kill him. Again, that is. She's a little violent. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him. Now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go to where these dapper zombies were last seen in Southern Talonlan, you might find them. And then you could, uh, ah, you could become their friend and ask to meet their leader. Yes, that's sure to work. And get my brain devoured, but that's besides the point. Anywho. So. Let us be off to follow to Southern Talonland, where a special fate awaits us. Whether we'll get access to it immediately or not isn't entirely clear, but even if we don't, I've got a backup plan. Not a particularly lengthy one, but I've got one. There they are. Hmm. And it's still ongoing. Probably the result of me actually doing the thing. Got our behemoth pal to bring us to our destination, as per usual. Still haven't gotten much in the way of mounts, but then again, the story doesn't reward a lot of them. Uh, you know, the funny thing I've actually learned is that apparently, in order to do the last part of the main quest for A Realm Reborn right before Heaven's Word, apparently you actually have to do the art versions of the various primals. I actually thought those were optional, but apparently they're not. That was a surprise to me, especially considering that, uh... Oh yeah, need to level sync. So there are our dapper zombies who are too busy flexing to deal with us. Gotta say, that's a very righteous pause, though. Quit hugging yourself, man. Gentleman is rather than something. You are neither a gentleman nor a zombie. I am technically in Lapel, but that's a little mean. Well, attracted the uh, attention of this Amalja Lancer here. Can't add that. Now, can we? As per usual, it seemed that we can never get any daylight in this stream. Not that it matters nearly as much as it once did back when I first did Stormblood. Do not disturb our practice! 
what are you preparing? A musical or something? You'll see a few of those special fates as we go through this, although I only remember two particularly relevant ones, this being one of them. As to what all of those zombies are doing over here, I have no clue. But apparently there are a lot of undead around Ulda. Probably the remnants of Sildi or whatever. Oh, lovely. Attracted some undesirables. Still, with the kind of gear I've got, this is particularly bothersome. Hey! Any right? Hey, you, stop that! Those things are so big! Really drives it home, considering I used to play Rogue Garden. Well, I still do, but this is an alternate character, for those that aren't aware. The crown helmet, though, is a little posh. Ah, oh, there he is. I feel so cultured! I feel so refined! I always found the little shoulder pads on that outfit really strange. And that is done! So we gotta show the curious parchment to Nashu. Who couldn't be bothered to accompany us. Uh. Well, off to Camp Draybone there. And it's unfortunate nickname. Which I'm not gonna repeat on stream. Alrighty, no danger running around in a magitech armor, especially not in the ores yet. Nope. Hey there, lady. Did you find the zombies? You did? That's wonderful. I've been busy too. The head zombie will rue the day he met me. You'll see. So tell me, what did you learn? That thing. Oh, so you weren't able to make new friends. That's shame. But this parchment. This is a map of the Sagoli Desert. There's a spot marked here in the south. And look, there's something written here. A gentleman is rather than does. This sort of reminds me of... Huh. Well, no matter. Let's see where this map takes us, assistant. Onward, to the Sagoli. Which is exactly where I came back from, but okay. I've also learned something, something new recently. I've seen some articles saying that perhaps they are actually planning to shorten the main quests, possibly towards the end of the expansion or something. There's a lot of pointless busy work that was added, you know, things like they do here, having us go from one place to the other, only to go back. So apparently they are actually planning on cleaning up uh, the original main quest a little, maybe eventually going into Heaven's Word, but it's less uh, obvious from there. Uh, that feels a little strange to me, but then again, they say they want to keep pretty much the essence of what the quests were, so... Shouldn't be too worried, so I suppose it's a good thing that I actually get to stream them before they're gone. So they are sending us all the way here, to the ass end of the Segoli Desert. I always found that place a little strange, too. Whatever those remnants looks like, I don't know. Garlean thingies. There they are. And apparently we aren't the only one on the said quest. How wonderful. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy, though. I say we call out to them, and let them know we come in peace. And when the leader shows himself, we strike. 
Gentleman is rather than does. <laughs> Who summons the gentle dead man? Deadpan zombie. Seating zombie. They live! They live! And we... We hunger. My brothers, lend me your ears. A gentleman does not dine upon his guests. Spare this fine gentleman and fair lady your mastications. Withdraw, I say, and arrest them no more. Hmm, nice thumbnail there. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! No, it's an airship! No, it's the inspector! We hear and we obey. Oh my. It is you! It really is you! I knew nothing could kill the great inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Who is this Hildebrand of whom you speak? My name is Zombiebrand, devourer of brains, undead overlord extraordinaire. What are you saying? You're not an undead overlord, you're a gentleman inspector. <laughs> inspector, overlord, inspector, overlord. No, oh, Inspector, you're just confused is all. Don't worry, I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of yours. Uh-oh, she's got bombs. Stay your hand, my lady. You know not what you do. Uh-oh. That's a crazy smile if I've ever seen one. Even if I were the esteemed gentleman you purport me to be, the concussive force of the blast is more than I like to liquefy my... If crashing into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector. Or kill you trying. See? Even you acknowledge the possibility that this plan will result in my... Death! That's about what Nashu does most of the time, really. I'm not really surprised. <laughs> because yes, I've gone through the quest line before. That's a rather unpleasant groin shot. Normally I would applaud your ingenuity, Nashu, but I would have preferred that you found a more elegant solution. Ah, he remembers me! Inspector Hildebrand remembers me! Yes, yes, I remember you, my faithful assistant. What I do not quite remember is how I came to be here. Oh. Flashback time. Yeah. Goatee's earrings always a little weird. Like for them, their hair hides their ears. Because those are creepy. Oh my! Gotta speak to Father Iliad about those zombies running around the lich yard. We can't have that. Ah, such a wonderful dream! I slew a dragon and...
Hmm, what is this place? And for that matter, who am I? Oh yeah, zombies. You can see some sort of eater marks on them. Not dissimilar to what we saw in Pharaoh Sirius. That might explain why they keep getting up on their own. Uh huh. Peer pressure, eh? Yeah. That was the birth of Zombie Brand, Undead Overlord Extraordinaire. I, Hildebrand, Agent of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, have awoken at last. I, Sniffles, Sob, I always knew you'd come back to us. Be it Red Moon or Black Dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary might. And who might this fine gentleman be? Hmm, could he perhaps be one of my many admirer? Oh, but what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm? This ringing in my ears? This dizziness? Could it be... a case? Apparently so. My name is not important. Well then, Nashua to be pleased. Amazing, isn't it? He wasn't dead, he was just badly injured, and needed to hibernate. I didn't even know people could do that. Yeah, Hildebrand is rather resilient. Back in the saddle, a mild concussion will not sway Inspector Hildebrand from his true calling. Verily, it could be not else. Somewhere nearby, dastardly doings are afoot, and only I can thwart them. Copious quantities of sand, unbearable heat, aha! To Segoli Desert, I'd bet my life on it. Which means Ulda is but a short trek away. Yes, it all fits. Only that dead of iniquity could so violently trigger my keen investigator's sense. Fear not, law-abiding citizens. Inspector Hildebrand shall soon deliver you from evil. And off he goes. Which way did he go, Kukuma? Did you see? Oh dear, I've got to find him. Ah, and change my outfit, too. Well, that's all nice. So, back to Ulda, then. How he managed to get back there on his own is another matter entirely. Sure didn't seem to teleport like we do. So, gotta question the residents, then. You have a wonderful Uldan team. Agnes. Beg your pardon? You wish to question me? As to the whereabouts of that deviant running about town dressed in rags? Do I look like a reporter for the Mitral Eye? I do not consort with perverts. Perverts indeed. Next one is right over here. Silver Nettle. Hey man. What? You're looking for a half naked Highlander what likes to catch criminals? I think I'd remember a thing like that. If you do manage to find this inspector friend of yours, tell him to do something about that god's damn duelist. Me mate's pa's cousin kid's best friend lost his blade the other day to that bastard. That sounds like a lead if I've ever heard one. Perhaps we'll find something in the quicksand. Botulf. Hmm? Sorry, lad, but if it's information you want, you'd best be preserved by going to Wymond. The only rumors I've heard are about those the, about, are those about the weapon thief. Calls himself a duelist or so I hear. But when you don't allow your opponents to refuse, well. Hmm. Sounds like that, that duelist thing might actually be uh, genuine. How about that? 
I have to go see Wyman. Which again, pointless busy work. We've already been to him before. I take it you've dealt with that zombie problem, eh? So, do tell. Just why were they dressing up like dandies? Wyman! Hey, Wyman! Tall almighty bugger me with a bleeding spear! The dead have risen! And they're walking the streets of Ulda! No need for melodrama, my good man. As you can see, reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. It's true, he's not a zombie. I checked! Hi, you do seem to be hale and healthy, which uh, begs the question, how in the seven hells did you survive that fall? Why question divine providence? What matters is that Eorzea's champion has returned, and that he, and by that I mean I, shall bring the steaming duelist to justice. Heard about that, did you? Might be harder than you think. Even I've got no inkling of that fellow's current whereabouts. Inconceivable! I refuse to believe that the ever-inquisitive, ever-ambitious, ever-reliable Wyman is without a single shred of information, even one of dubious relevance. Hmm, well, I make no promises, mind you, but there was some talk of a fair maiden what said her most. The snave assaulted a young woman as well! The audacity! I should fly to her side at. Gasp! Why, if it isn't the gentleman from the Sagoli! A serendipitous encounter indeed, unless you two seek the belligerent duelist. Capital! It will be invigorating to engage in a friendly battle of wits. Already the spirit of competition fills me. Come, Nashu, we must away. See ya. Gugumo doesn't have a clue what's going on. Damn it, Hildy. I ain't told you the lass's name yet. Eh, he'll figure it out on his own. Due diligence. Wyman would like to know what you think of Ulda. So, how are you ta uh, taking to Ulda, Kukmo? Many new friends in high places yet? Ha! Well, when you have the Sultana's ears one day, I hope you won't have forgotten about old Wyman. Long as you're here, mayhap you can do me a favor and take this missive to Josias at the Platinum Mirage. It's uh, just over yonder, and the men will even give you some gill for your trouble. If only all works in the city was this easy, eh? Did I take the, uh, the right one? No, it's, an uns uh, it's another quest entirely. This has nothing to do with Hildebrand. My mistake. After her, horn or her own art. Wyman believes it would be best if you assisted Inspector Hildebrand with his investigation. Well, Kukumo, you might as well go after him. He'll be disappointed if you don't. The lady in question is named Yellow Moon. She's a woman with a taste for the finer things in life. Safe to say you'll find her getting fitted for something in the Weaver's Guild most every day. Good luck with the inspecting inspector. Oh, good luck with the inspecting inspector. Sometimes I read things too quickly. Anywho. I actually know who Lei Yellow Moon is. She's involved in a couple of quests, so... That's to be expected. She's a rather gaudy Rogadin woman uh, in a bright yellow outfit. With a... Uh, odd makeup. So, Weaver's Guild. We also perhaps catch a glimpse of our pal Redolent Rose here, the uh, Weaver's Guild Master, Yellow Moon. See? That makeup is way too bright. My beloved Pure Heart was unlike anyone you have ever seen. Elegant, refined, the perfect accessory for any cultured woman. You will bring it back to me, won't you? A priceless possession, callously ripped from the hands of its owner. The lady weeps, and the wind bears her sorrows to his ear. What gentleman could hear this clarion call and not beg for the honor of championing her cause? 
What in the world? I swear to you, here and now. I, Ildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall scar all creation from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens for your pure heart. I'm swooning, all right. What he said? And you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated, having guided you to this fair maiden's side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the theft? Thefts, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most recent item to be taken from me. I sniffle. I'm certain I had it when I left home the other day, after I browsed the latest fashions at Sun's Hilk, and took in a match at the Colosseum. I realized it was gone. So the time and location of the theft are unknown. Essential details, without which we cannot solve the case. There is but one logical course of action. Miss Moon, coax the hidden clues from your memories. We must reenact that fateful day's excursion to Sunset Tapestries. See ya. Stiffle sup, what monster would steal my pure heart? I would have thought there might have been some type of innuendo behind that, but it's actually rather clear-cut. So anyway, uh, Sun Silk is where exactly? Okay, that's close to the main eaterite. I remember a lot, but not everything. There they are. What you got? Oh, I don't know. Are you sure this is going to help? She's quite tall. Even Ildebrand being a Highlander is actually fairly tall. Miss Moon, would you be so kind as to describe your visit in detail on the day in question? Nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress when a man approached me and confessed his undying love. What sort of man says that to a complete stranger, I ask you? Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse, in shock, not intentionally, on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. If I may be so bold, Miss Moon, that strikes me as a most unusual happening. In any case, it appears to be completely unrelated to the theft. Let us next proceed to the Colosseum and see what we remember. Ashu is dozing off. It happens sometimes. So anyway, the Colosseum closer that away. Start rather slow. My memory was that we actually got to. Uh, the next step quite quickly. Hmm. Hmm. That crate's looking at me funny. Hmm. Where, Sniffle Sob? Where could my pure heart be? I think I know where this is going. Once again, Miss Moon, if you would be so kind as to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing unusual happened. I felt like gambling dead that day and was debating which match to observe when a gladiator approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse. In shock, not intentionally. Unfortunately, since I was carrying a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six score ponzes, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. 120 ponzes? Miss Moon, you are a remarkably strong woman. Which is precisely why you are targeted. Oh, it's so obvious in insight. Did he bore you no a grudge? No, it's more than that. He hated you with a passion. There sure are a lot of giant crates in Ulda, at the Weaver's Guild, at Sunsilk Tapestries, and here too. Odd. 
Stand back! I am on the verge of unraveling this mystery. I must be allowed to focus. Same thing. These crates are everywhere, Kukumo. I wonder what's inside. But I don't see how we can open. Ah, of course! I still have plenty of explosives. Here, why don't you try it? It'll be fun. Yeah, fun. Oh my! Perspiring men. Ron, oh gods, have mercy! We got spies. At the heart of every crime rests a single, unassailable truth, reached only by navigating a web of falsehoods and contradictions. Hearken to me now, for as a shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my irrefutable conclusion. The gladiator professes his feelings, only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response, wounding his pride as a warrior and man, resenting her prowess while recognizing his weakness. He carries out a more feasible vengeance. He robs Yellow Moon of her weapon, the Pure Heart. Inspector, we found the Pure Heart. The strange men sneaking around town in wooden crates had it. But he was totally wrong. It's not what you think. We're not thieves. We're devotees. Yellow Moon is our sun and stars. We only wish to keep her safe from harm. And should she misplace an item from time to time, we'd collect it. For safekeeping, nothing untoward. You deviants were behind all the thefts. All this time you've been stalking me. What? What nerve? Ah, such unbridled fury, such righteous indignation. We should be glad to accept the goddess's punishment. So that was pointless. Goddess? Devotee? De devotees? Ah, but of course. That I had you inspect those crates was a stroke of genius indeed. As I was elucidating but a moment ago, those fiends are obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapon thefts as... Those thefts were carried out by a single individual, you imbecile. Lest you've forgotten, the culprit is a duelist. He only claims his victims' weapons after defeating them in single combat. If your powers of observation are as great as you claim, you should have deduced that those buffoons in boxes were incapable of such. Well-informed woman. I should know. I'm a reporter for the Mitral Eye. My name is Ellie. And I've uh, been investigating these incidents for weeks. Inspector Hildebrand, gentleman investigator and agent of inquiry, I presume? You're looking well, for a dead man. Would you like to meet one of the duelist's victims? I'll introduce you, with pleasure. You would be willing to share such precious information with me. Your generosity is commendable, Miss Ellie. May this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Yes, yes, very good. The name of the man is... Huh. Where in the bloody hells do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. Yeah, that's what he does. So yeah, my hypothesis was completely off track. I kinda expected to see the monks and subligers. <laughs> Anywho, the Immaculate Deception. Having no other recourse, Ellie would tell you the identity of the victim. Uh, I suppose you're the imbecile's friend. You intend to help him. The man you want to find is an adventurer named Humphrey. At present, he can be found at the Golden Bazaar. With luck, the good inspector may find his way there by the time you arrive. If not, then so be it. <laughs> I wonder what will happen when he discovers that the victim is the perpetrator as well. Huh? Okay. It has been a while since I have uh, last done this. I remember going through it mostly through most of the cutscenes. They might have skipped over this little bit of pointless busy work. That would explain it. The Golden Bazaar is to the north of uh, Camp Drybones. Which is conveniently located close to the Lich Yard. And 
here we are. Humphrey, please. Hi, I'm Humphrey, and you're... Sorry about that. Been a long day. At last I've caught up with you. You there, young sir. I'm told you're a victim of the marauding duelist. Me? A victim? <laughs> How amusing. You amuse me. True. I was challenged by the duelist not long ago, but where he thought to find a whelp? He found a warrior of light instead. I, I defended my honor and my blade. See for yourself. You mean you won? That's amazing. Heh. <laughs> well, it was nothing compared to what I faced at Cartano. Magitek to the right of us, Magitek to the left of us. Stuck in the middle with Master Lu, we were. Core. He was a dab hand with the old magic. He was. I tried to save him, of course, but there's a limit to how many giant beasties a man can. That man is no warrior of light. Tell them, Eleazar. Tell them how he lost and surrendered a sword that was not his own. Liar! Scoundrel! I trusted that bastard with me father's blade. Bid him to take it to a smithy for restoration. Even gave him guild to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back sniveling and begging forgiveness for losing it in a duel. As if that's enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding horson. Look at me! Me flowing golden locks are no more. I've gone bald from the stress and the heartbreak. I swear to everything holy that you'll face a reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. Huh. All right, all right. He bit the shite out of me and took the old man's sword. I used the guild to pay the curgeon. I have no idea where he or the sword is. What am I supposed to do, huh? I can give him what I don't have, unless... Unless you can help me find the sword. That's what you do, right? Help people. Have you no shame? First you claim a legacy not your own, then you beg others to help you with problems of your own making. You will refuse this man, won't you, Inspector? And why hasn't he changed yet? And what avail is AR's flowing uh, golden locks? How will forsaking young Humphrey help the man he has wronged? Huh? We shall begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of the Golden Bazaar. You all inspectors dress like that. I've never met one before, so I don't know what to expect. That blade was a rare and ancient relic. You can't possibly think he'll recover it so easily. Uh, he does. There's Benagar. Elizar's sword? Wasn't much to look at, but at least was authentic. More than a few collectors have been tricked into purchasing counterfeit relics. Lululo. That boy should be ashamed of himself, robbing poor Elizar of a priceless family heirloom. Just goes to show you should never trust an adventurer who claims to be a warrior of light. Thieves and tricksters, the lot of them. Uh, it may not be the most honorable solution, but mayhap you should consider giving Elizar a counterfeit blade. If their deception brings him peace in its final days, would it be so wrong? Yeah, I don't know. Aebe. Antique swords? Oh, I have the foggiest doubt about the uh, foggiest about that. The traveling merchant Jojonpa is the one you ought to speak with, assuming he hasn't left. So Jojonpa is somewhere up there. Looks like a lot of fell trader. Not unusual in Ulda. Oh, nice mustache, dude. 
I'm afraid I have no knowledge of an ancient sword, at least not of one I can guarantee to be authentic. You see, any wares I determine to be of dubious origins I immediately discard in the spring east of Camp Drybone. Although I have no swords for sale at present, I may have disposed of a facsimile similar in design to the one you describe. This presents a quandary. Though I am loath to deceive an honorable man like Eleazar, a well-intentioned ruse may put his heart at ease, thus spurring the rejuvenation of his flowing golden locks, whilst we continue to search for the genuine article. Well, if there is a sword in that spring, it won't remain there for long. It's one of the more convenient sources of fresh water for the common folk in Camp Drybone. Tustisk. You should endeavor to be more optimistic, Miss Ellie, like me. I say we search the spring first before declaring all to be lost. Oh, probably be faster to just go straight through Camp Drybone, I figure. Alrighty. Hmm. I'd be better to go through this way. We've been here before. That was where we found the refugees that Tancred was hunting back when uh, we got captured by Ifrit. to me that I am not yet fully recovered from my accumulated injuries, it would not be prudent to immerse my body in water. Not without first coating it with a liberal application of salamander oil, that is. Indeed, on many an occasion, my dearest mother tended my childhood scrapes just so. You understand the importance of physical rehabilitation, yes? Then you can assist me by pouring the oil all over my body. Uh, okay. The body is but an instrument in occasional need of oiling, so come, my friend, come and oil me up. That is strangely not the strangest thing I've done in game. Had me doing pretty much the same uh, to an old man somewhere in camp. Uh, what was it? Camp Browns Lake, I think. Ah, discomforting scent, as though I am a child in our arms. Quickly now, before it drives, knead the oil into my aching flesh. If I must. Ah, oh, Durell. Gah! The pain multiplies manifold. Gently now. Gently. So, yep. Objective massage Hildebrand again. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Yes! At last. My muscles slacken and soften. The warmth spreads. And the pain becomes pleasure. There he goes, squatting. Right there, yes, keep doing that. Just like that, just like... Yes, now once more, with feeling! You're really milking this for all it's worth, huh? Ah, never before have I received such splendid ministrations. Now then, into the spring. You as well, my good man. If I must. I spy with my inspector's eye. Pole pot. Uh huh. Item of interest. Muddy pebble. Who dat? Lalafell fisherman from the looks of it. This is a source of fresh water, can be a lot of fish there. Anywho, ah, there it is. Muddy bottle. You've been productive! Excellent! May I see what you've found? Worthless bottle, a useless rock, 
irrelevant potshed. Not much to look at, really. No sign of the sword, Jujanpa Mansion. I see. Ah! Now I'm all wet. What was that anyway? Hmm? Did something cause you to? Oh my! Once again, my instincts have guided us to our quarry. That I had you search that section of the spring was a stroke of... of... sneeze. That was strong sneeze, alright. Inspector, it's bad for your health to conduct investigation in these clothes. I'll go to Ulda and fetch you some new ones. How thoughtful of you, Nashu. While you're there, purchase a few bottles of hair tonic for Elazar as well. The newest, most potent blend you can find. Nothing can go wrong from this. Is it not wonderful, my friend? Soon all of Elzar's worries, woes will be no more. Okay, let's report to the dude. And unfortunately, we have to do the, the trek uh, leading back to the Golden Bazaar. No Eaterites there, unfortunately. Only Chocobo Porters. Bunch of imps and zombies around the place. I don't recall that from when we were captured by Amalja somewhere around here. Aren't we starting to become a storied person, huh? Eh? Here, you should be in there. As promised, I return to you your father's ancient blade. Aye, it is her! Every chip and scratch, just as I remember. Gods bless you, sir. I never expected you would go to such length for two strangers without thought of reward. Altruism is a rare trait these days. Tis common enough if you know where to look. A gentleman recognizes the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. Spoken like a true gentleman, though your garments begs to differ. Inspector, I brought your change of clothing. Also bought a supply of tonic from the this peddler, or this peddler I met in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. If you would just bring me the case. Here you go. Huh? Ouch. That ought to hurt. Inspector! Inspector Hildebrand? There appears to be something lodged in my forehead. Could it be a missive from an adoring admirer? Hmm. The author neglected to pen her name. I shall come to claim the collector's blade. Is that supposed to be flattering? No, you. It's supposed to be intimidating. The duelist wrote this. He's daring you to stop him. See, Ellie knows what's up. <laughs> Ass face. A challenge! For me? Hell! At last the curtain rises. Very well. If I am to duel the duelist, I must dress for the occasion. Oh 
Oh my! I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, accepts your challenge. He's... he's incredible! So bold, so majestic, just like Warrior of Light! No, a Gentleman of Light! He is exceptionally something. Cor! Inspector Hildebrand! You look amazing! And the guy got his hair back, just like that. Mysterious person, Hildebrand. We can hear some of the uh, traditional Hildebrand team there. <laughs> uh. This is far from the strongest of swords. Blue, blue skies and rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the Blade of Legend? The blood thickens. Very poor puffy pants there. And we are done. And we got filtered water. Yeah. No matter, there will be better rewards as we head further into the quest line. Challenge accepted, my worthy opponent. You shall not claim the blade. With my, let's call it what it is, genius, I shall bring you to justice. Wait, you wish to duel with weapons, not wits? The bridge hardly seems appropriate for such an epic battle. Hildebrand will return in the Tree Collectors. Hey, I know that spear. That's the one I found buried with the pumpkins. Pumpkins sort of remind me of... Um, now it's gone. Never mind. Nashu breaking the fourth wall again. <laughs> and obviously not referencing me. Yeah. Come on, Square Enix. Make it happen. So anyway, we've got our next one. We've still got about an hour to go, so we should be able to finish that one. Ellie wishes to share her latest discoveries with you. Perchance you are curious about the duelist's declared target. It so happened I have identified the weapon in question. The Treaty Blade is part of an Ishgardian noble's collection. Or was, I should say. No, it has not yet been stolen. It has been purchased by a Nuldon collector, the wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice it to say, it would be re I would be remiss in my duties as a reporter were I to not investigate her. And should the duelist strike while as I am present, well, I hope I need to explain what a golden opportunity that would be. Ingratiating myself to her may prove to be the greatest challenge, though. I'm told she is a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I am also told that she has fondness for rare flowers, the sort Tutusi in Camp Drybone cells. You can come along if you'd like. So we'll head over to Camp Drybone and then be on our way to Horizon. And uh, not Horizon, the Waking Sands. No, that was Horizon. And there's Tutusi. 
had a feeling you couldn't resist the pull of a good story. Since you're here, why don't you choose the Altic Lavender to buy? Here you are, miss. Thank you for your patronage. Was it for love or money that you killed him? It... it was you? Disconcerted damsel. Have you gone mad? That was an emulger arrow in his back. I don't even know how to shoot a bow. Flustered fellow. Kurt gentleman. Emulja, uh, don't shoot fleeing unharmed merchants. They capture and temper them. Not that you or the victim make for con convincing merchants. If you're going to misrepresent yourself, put some effort into it. Wear gloves, for God's sake. Or at least don't wave your hands in front of my face. The calluses on your fingers betray you as a veteran archer. Doubtless you used your skills to great effect five years ago, as did your partner. So again, I ask. Was it because he took from you your share, or your sister? You don't touch a man's kin. He knew that, and yet he... He... Damn. I thought he did it for the money. You too. He's all yours. Yes, of course. Thank you for your help, Inspector. Stupefied sentry. At least he's competent. But when did investigating crimes become such a popular profession? It's not his job, you know. He just likes doing it. He belongs to one of Ishgard's high houses. Some say he's a baron. Not at all like that buffoon Hildebrand, don't you think? Actually, Hildebrand is the son of a fairly wealthy house as well. I try not to think about Hildebrand. We should get going. Lady Drilda will not take kindly to wilted flowers. And Hildebrand also doesn't accept rewards. That at least is a very gentlemanly behavior. Doesn't do for a gentleman to betray a lady's expectation. Now then, we're gonna be taking our usual shortcut back to Horizon. Oh, a new arcanist, eh? Good for you. So, she is in that big house right over there. And dancing cat lady. Not unusual in Ulda. Here she is. I believe you have something to present to Lady Durilda. Go on then. Again? As I told the last 20 who came before, if you have come looking for work, you are too late. And even if I were in need of, addi of additional security, I would not deign to hire a common adventurer. Now remove yourself from my sight before I have you removed. Please, my lady, reconsider. Did you really think I could be so easily manipulated? Present the right gifts, speak the, speak the magic words, and you would earn my respect. What is more, a flower's beauty is fleeting. I value beauty which transcends the boundaries of time. Everlasting, enduring, unchanging. Like mine. Now get out. Forgive us, Lady Dorelda. We meant no disrespect. We are afraid that you would not heed our warnings otherwise. A notorious violent thief is plotting to steal the Treaty Blade. You fools. I shall come to claim the Collector's Blade, yes? I read the betrayal eye. I know full well of whom you speak, and it is none of your concern. I have a legion of guards at my disposal. Should he try, I will have him seized or worse. And even if by some miracle he should succeed, he will not escape my route. For I have retained the services of a certain gentleman. 
Ah, but you may see for yourself. Like every piece in my collection, he has been chosen with the utmost care. Now look on my peerless inspector, interlopers, and despairs. Rather Machiavellian of her. Ships that pass in the night, a signal shown in the darkness. The lady cries out for a guardian, and the gentleman must needs oblige. I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall neither slumber nor sleep until the fiend who covets the treaty blade is brought to justice. She's like, what? Good sir, what brings you here? Are you come in pursuit of the duelist as well? Or perchance, in pursuit of me? As if I would spend a single gill on an insufferable incompetent. To be fair, you are not spending a single gill on me. The chance to investigate such an intriguing case is payment enough. Preemptive declarations of criminal intent are hardly in vogue. Sorry I'm late. Busy solving a murder. Briardien, que consulting inspector. At your service, my lady. That reference to uh, the Sherlock British series with Benedict Cumberbatch hasn't escaped me. It appears the translator uh, got a little flower with it. Conniving Inspector. Consulting Inspector. Hmm. Rotting Flesh and Saltpeter. Hildebrand Menderville in Nashu Makaraka, I presume? Two rank amateurs playing at a profession of which they know not. Call me when you finish with these waste rolls. He's rather tall compared to her. Huh. You see? I do not want nor need your help. Briardian is more than capable of overseeing the transfer. Now get out, all of you. Where have you been, Maria? And where is my vase? Oh, There was this strange flying thing and I... The vase, I dropped it in the water. I was so... That vase once belonged to the royal house of Torn. Do you have any idea how much it was worth? You will go back outside right now and search for my vase. And you are not to return until you find it. Do I make myself clear? Oh, My lady, pray allow me to go in the girl's stead. It is not safe, for she herself spoke of a ferocious wild beast. Huh? With my unmatched investigative skills, I shall swiftly locate and recover the missing vase, thereby earning your respect, at which point you will gladly grant me permission to investigate the thieving duelist. Verily, it is planned fiendishly clever in its, its, in its intricacies. Oh my. <laughs> I think my brain just had uh, a little stroke right there. Not when spoken aloud! Oh my. Miss Maria, would you be so kind as to tell me exactly what happened? Shit eating grin again. I picked up the vase in Ulda, like Mother said, and I was on my way home. I was crossing the bridge, and then the flying thing came. I got scared, so I ran. When I stopped, it was gone. But so was the vase. I think I dropped it in Nofika's wells. I want to go and look, but there were scary looking things down there. I'm scared to go alone. You are no longer alone, Miss Maria. We shall go together and look for the vase, all five of us. Yay! All four of you? 
I'm going after Inspector Briardian. If the Drillist strikes, I mean to be there. But, Miss Ellie, how can you ignore the plight of a young girl for the sake of a story? Because that's my job, you imbecile! Well, we shall not be derelict in our duty to justice. Come, Nashu, we must away! You don't even know what the bloody vase looks like. Maria, dear, listen. If it gets dangerous or if you feel afraid, you run to this adventurer for help. Understand? Yes, ma'am. That's usually our role. Ensure that Hildebrand succeeds somehow. Out! Out! I have forthcoming appointments with very prestigious guests and will suffer your presence no longer. Unpleasant lady, if there ever was any. Eager to get started, eh? Capital! You have my leave to canvas the scene for clues. Mayhap you may even find a witness or two. Well, that's nice. So enough he goes well, that means going to Horizon, which wasn't here. My mistake. But then again, it is always fun to come back to my beginnings here back in Ulda. My first character was actually a Mikote Monk that I played here in Old Da as well, back when the original A Realm Reborn was released, that was before Heaven's Word. Came back during Heaven's Word, late Stormblood, and uh, after Stormblood, well, it was time for Shadowbringers, so. Resting Merchant. That girl who what run by earlier, I, I seen her, had something in her hands. But dropped it while crossing the bridge. Didn't get a good look, but I reckon it don't matter any road. Whatever it was, it's long gone by now. If you say so, Mr. Ladafell. There's a way to get down the well from over here. There's some dude who might have seen something. A vase? Well, anything that falls in the water is like to be swept downstream fairly quickly. Does this have anything to do with that queer, winged beast I saw earlier? No? Never mind then. Flamboyant Oaf. That looks familiar. A pox upon that thieving demon bird. He shall rue the day cross path with me. Huh? Vaz? I know not of what you... Gah, curse this infernal refuse underfoot. Every point is a dagger. There is something in the water at the man's feet. How about that? Might have sit sat on it. Do I spy the treasured vase of Lady Durilda over... Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Hmm. Does this belong to you, child? Forgive me. I was so engrossed in my search that I did not notice. Your search for what, pray tell? The demon bird that absconded with my weapon. I set it down for about a moment, only to see it next in the talons of that cursed creature. I gave chase, following it to these waters, and in my haste, I must have stepped upon your vase. Don't fret, Maria. I know it looks bad, but I'm sure Inspector Hildebrand will think of something. Oh, but I already have, my faithful assistant. Hearken to me now, for as the rising sun doth dispel the dark, so shall my solution resolve our dilemma. First, we must gather as many fragments of the vase as we, as we can find. 
If we must. How could I have been so careless? What the? Why does this feel so familiar? Hmm. Probably because that's exactly what we did in the, an earlier quest. Ah, uh, sorry, Mr. Dude. Almost called him by his name, too. Need not spoil things too quickly, even though it's fairly obvious if you know the series. And we've also got a green chicken hanging out with him. That is weird. Being a law fell in such high water isn't particularly good. Even that child is standing higher than I do. Damn it. Why do you have such a big hitbox? Come to present your findings, have you? Splendid! Let's have a look. Well done, my friend. That should be more than sufficient for our needs. He has performed miracles with far less, after all. Who? The hammer! A shattered antique vase will not deter Inspector Hildebrand from his mission. There is but one person in all Eorzea capable of reconstructing this vase. A man was skilled with the hammer has brought rival goldsmiths low. So breathtaking are his works, so fearsome his competitive spirit. This man is no mere goldsmith. You speak of him as one would of a great warrior. Once, a notorious gang of thieves perpetrated a series of robberies in Ulda, targeting establishments which sold luxury goods. One such shop was owned by the humble lapidary of whom I speak. His was the last shop the thieves struck, for the following morning they were found beaten, bound and gagged in the gold court. The brass blades never learned who was responsible. The only information they had was the testimony of a thief, who kept muttering the words, The hammer! The hammer! He sounds dangerous. Aye, that he does. And I do so enjoy the company of dangerous men. Oh my. But where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Gilgamesh, and that is my companion, Enkidu. Well, not really. It has been many moons since last I saw her, so to ease the burden of loneliness, I tamed a rooster and painted it green. In any case, you mean to search for this goldsmith, yes? If so, it would be my pleasure to help. The pleasure is all mine, Gilligan. I, Elderbrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, bid you welcome. If it is hard for you to remember, I give you leave to call me Gil. Excellent suggestion, Greg. Playful monikers are an effective means of building camaraderie. Call me Hildy. Now then. From what I know of the goldsmith's propensity to procure his materials himself, I have deduced that he is most like to be found in the vicinity of Blue Fog, in Northern Tannenland. It is there we shall begin our search. So yeah, now that he has introduced himself, that is Gilgamesh, a reference to the samely named character who is a staple of the series and who also first appeared in Final Fantasy V where he was a particularly major character. That is the case from, for some other Gilgamesh, but not all of them. Sometimes they're just easter egg fights. Anywho. So, Northern Tannaland near Camp Blue Fog. Which will lead us to one of the more nonsensical... Uh, staples of the Hildebrand questlines. You'll see. And those of you who have actually quested in Camp Bronze Lake will actually recognize the man. Or have actually completed the main quest uh, past Stormblood, anywho. There we are. Ashu Makaraka. If a Doblin became a zombie, would that make it a Zomblin or a Dombie? Capital idea, Nashu. Poor thing. The Dublin's wounds indicate it was felled with a hammer. A trail of bloody footprints leads to the north. I don't think it's been dead long. Maybe whoever did it is still around? Most likely. Good place to summon Void Sense. Nothing bad can happen from this. Gilgamesh. 
This goldsmith is not to be trifled with. The basilisk's wounds indicate that it was felled with a hammer. A trail of bloody footprints leads to the north. A single blow to the head. Impressive. Gilgamesh, though, isn't an original creation of the series. He's actually based on the tale of King Gilgamesh. That's something of a miscible. Well. <laughs> I've had a little friend there. Mesopotamian uh, tale of myth. And given that the series got a lot of its stable from mythology, well, that's to be expected. Though I gotta admit, he doesn't have so much to do with the actual hero from said tale. His indie work is unmistakable. Hmm. The corpse is still quite warm. Ariman Carcass. I thought they disappeared. We've got Bloomage appearing out of nowhere. The Doblin, the Basilisk, the Saruman, all were slain with a hammer, as was that beast over yonder, unless I am mistaken. Oh? Oh my, that's freaking Chimera! That Chimera must be his latest prize, which means he must still be about. Merap is watching us at this very moment, attempting to ascertain our intentions. He was ever a cautious man when on the hunt. Puffy pants. Alas, it comes to this. Though every fiber of my being cries out in rebellion, I must break my oath and do the unspeakable. What must you do that is so terrible? I... I must dance! I'm a Mander, Mander, Manderville man, doing what only a Manderville can. From the peaks of Quartus to Tannaland, Mander, Mander, Manderville man. I... I cannot avert my eyes! That... Uh, uh, that is the dance of House Menderville, passed down from father to son. Were I to perform it within the sight of our quarry, he would not be able to resist revealing himself. Alas, I... Uh, I neglected to properly stretch my legs beforehand. My good man, I see no other solution. You must dance in my stead. Though it be a gross, nay, unconscionable violation of my family's traditions, I must bequeath to you the Manderville. And we now get access to the Manderville Dance emote. You have learned the emote, Manderville Dance. This dance is quite popular among the player base. Are you really going to do the Manderville? Oh, I can't wait! What manner of man can be summoned only through dance? The time has come for you to do what only a Manderville can. Manderville men. We are siblings now, my constant comrade, for I have shared with you the secrets of House Manderville. Now you must use that knowledge, go to the fallen Chimera, and dance like only a Manderville can. It is serious business. So let's do it. A special Manderville dance. Doesn't look like it's working. Of course, they give us the emote, but does it do not uh, have us actually use it? Oh, the hammer. Welp. Fancy yourself a Manderville man. You would do what only Manderville can. Then lift your legs and put up your hands. Be a Mander, Mander, Manderville man. He comes.
And no, that is not Hulk Hogan. Ho 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 ho. You have not fear from me, not at all. The only counts I can settle were with the Chimera. Oh my. Those shorty shorts. Godbert, but you were not drawn here by some coincidence, were you? No, you came in search of me, Godbert. Why else would you gyrate your hips in such a gentlemanly fashion, if not that? But more importantly, how in the hells did you learn the Manderville? If I did not teach you, then who? Ooh, that stare. By the grace of Tal, what sorcery is this? He... he yet lives? Poor Nashu there. S scary. Hildebrand Helidor Maximilian Manderville. Oh my, that's one heck of a surplex there. Ten years, Hildebrand. Ten years since you left home, and five since I learned of your trip to Dalmid. How long were you planning to allow your mother and father to suffer under the illusion that their beloved son was dead? Son? You're Hildy's father? Godbird the goldsmith's a Manderville man, smithing as only a Manderville can. Oil him up and give him a tan, fit for a Mander Manderville man. Please, father, seize your undulation, undulation at once. There are more pressing matters at hand. This antique vase must be made whole once more, for the sake of Miss Maria. Aww. Put some clothes on, there are children around. I never did see Godbird's eyes ever. Well, technically once, but that doesn't count. Ah, do not worry, little one. I deal with, wor I de with worse cases before my morning bowel movement. That's reassuring. Hold your applause until the end. Beeragut, guide my hammer. Oh my! Look how it sparkles in the twilight, how it radiates elegance. Would you all not agree that, this is, that it is a work of art? You've completely destroyed a priceless antique's historical value! Nonsense! I have taken a dull, unremarkable vase and transformed it into something far superior. I hope you are paying attention, Ildi. How long has it been since you last held a hammer? Father, I... That is not my path. I am an agent of inquiry, an inspector. It is my duty to help those in need. Miss Maria is one such person. There are others, too. Innocent people, whose weapons were callously ripped from their hands by a thieving duelist. I thought you had put away the childish dreams. No matter, you will understand in due time. No, I will not. I am an inspector, father. I can be not else. 
Um, Mr. Gumbert, sir, I don't think my mother's going to like what you did. She probably won't let Mr. Hildebrand help with the investigation. We cannot say that for certain, can we? Mayhap she will take a liking to this reimagining. Nice going, Greg. You spoke of a thieving duelist, did you not? It so happened I'm something of a duelist myself. Were we to cross path with this fellow, I would welcome the opportunity to pit my skills against his, and Kido as well, I should think. I see you too possess a strong sense of justice. Full glad am I to have met you, Greg. Now, let's return to Vesper Bay and see how our vase is re received. Vesper Bay, you say? What a coincidence! I shall be traveling there on business once I have finished gathering materials. Oh, I think I might have seen the dead demon bird which took my weapon. Go on without me, I shall follow anon. The demon bird reference is actually related to something important. I'll point it out once we get there. Or completely forget about it, whichever comes first. So, back to Vesper Bay then. Uh, Arcanist Guild. Now to go see the unpleasant lady. Oh, what's Priority doing there? It appears he has servants. Probably ordering the guards. Anywho. Mayhap Miss Maria should be the one to present the vase. I think not. I hope she likes it. Here you go. Mother, I brought you the vase. By the gods, have you all no shame? How dare you make my daughter complicit in your chicanery? I don't know where you found this gaudy trash, but it bears no resemblance whatsoever to the vase I purchased. Now see here, Lady Durelda, not only did you send Maria to fetch your priceless vase alone, placing her in considerable danger so bandits and wild beasts attack, which they did, but... Gaudy trash? Lord Manderville, sir, I did not really realize you had arrived. Though I know it is nothing compared to the lavish ac accommodations an esteemed gentleman such as yourself must enjoy, I pray my humble abode meets to you with your satisfaction. Again, no pants on Godbert. Oh, it does, my lady, it does indeed, especially that exquisite vase over yonder, although I gather from your previous comments that you do not like my reconstruction. Your reconstruction? Oh, I don't like it. I love it. I would go so far as to call it the new centerpiece of my Torn Dynasty collection. Ah, what a relief. I would have been most distressed had you said otherwise. We Mandervilles do so take pride in our work and never strive for professional perfection. Oh, but why am I repeating what my son Hildebrand doubtless told you when he offered to investigate the duelist threats? Enough expository banter, I say. Reference to Final Fantasy V again. I, I cannot recall if your son used those precise words, but I do remember thinking that his help would be most welcome. You will be helping us, Inspector Hildebrand, will you not? Wait a minute. 
Your father is Lord Godbert Menderville, the man who took Eolan de Quiveron's seat on the Syndicate. It appears there have been a great many developments over the past ten years of which I was completely unaware. In any case, we must redirect our energies toward the investigation of the thieving duelist. Our first order of business will be to review all the facts with consenting <laughs> Inspector Briardi. If we must. I think she likes it. Good for you. Come, we have teeth to catch. Let us seek out Inspector Briardi at once. I hope I did not speak over much earlier. My wife would describe it as proclivity to pontificate, but I prefer to think of it as an earnest desire to establish rapport with my fellow men. How nice of you. Hey, hon. Why are you still here? Allow me to elucidate. Lady Derelda has asked that we assist with the investigation. Now kindly share with us all your information. Fine. Our plans are advanced to a stage that even you couldn't ruin them anyway. I commissioned several reproductions of the Treaty Blade through a merchant named Jonpa, who traffics in counterfeit antiques. We've met this guy before. These blades have been delivered to the Observatorium, where they are being distributed among the Lady Derilda's cell swords. Once I give the order, they will transport them via alternate routes to Vesper Bay. Ooh, I think I get it. You're hiding the real transport with a bunch of decoys, right? They're all decoys. The moment the thief strikes, all our forces will converge on his location, including those disguised as small folk along each route. The real Treaty Blade will remain in the original owner's vault until the thief has been apprehended. Everything has been accounted for. You are superfluous. That bulge of his. Uh, he's like, what? Mayhap we could use more small folk to watch the roads in and out of the observatorium, assuming you have the capacity to conduct yourself in an unassuming fashion. Fear not, my fellow inspector, for I am the master of disguise. Have you any information regarding the duelist himself? A description? You never thought to ask Humphrey, did you? Uh, the thief is said to be a towering brute dressed in red who wields a halberd. Ha ha ha! A man so garishly dressed should be easy to find in Snowy Quartus. Then I suppose we don't need your help after all, do we? Come or don't, I couldn't care less. You seeing you? I sure hope things don't come to a head near less quickly as I think. Gilgamesh, pray forgive my lateness. Greg, my good man, what a pleasure to see you again. We just received new information regarding the weapon thief. A victim described him as a halberd-wielding brute dressed in... dressed in... A ridiculous outfit! A ridiculous outfit? Oh, now I am intrigued! What reasons would a warrior have for wearing impractical clothing? Aha! What reasons indeed! It is enough to make a gentleman laugh! Apparently so. It appears that my planning may not be going nearly as well as I thought. That damnable demon bird continues to elude me, but no longer. Soon I shall claim my revenge and weapon boat. Three collectors. Inspector Hildebrand will have you accompany him to Quartus. Allow me to summarize our current plan of action. Our destination is the Observatorium, and our mission is to pose as goodly small folk in accordance with Inspector Briardian's instructions. Naturally, should the situation demand improvisation, we are to disregard those instructions. Any questions? No? Then let's sally forth at once. And off to Quartus we go.
So, hmm, as I figured, headed over to the camp to the south was name I forget. Just named the observatorium, apparently. Hmm. Oh well. Cell Sword Sergeant. Hail to thee, fellow servant of justice. I take it you are one of the many tasked with transporting a counterfeit treaty blade. Clearly, you've mistaken me for someone else, sir. At ease, Sergeant. They're with us. More small folk. Keep an eye on them. Or else. But, sir, I... Bugger me. Don't you bloody move until I get back. I say, is this land always so inhospitable? The biting winds, the endless snows. Yep, keeping active will let me stay warm. Oh, and should I chance to finding the thieving duelist, I will of course summon you after administering the requisite beating. Ha ha ha. Bye bye. Good, you're still... Hmm, wasn't there someone else with you a moment ago? Ah, you speak of Greg. He ventured outside the gates mere moments before your arrival, fully eager to catch the thief, as we are. Come, Nashu, we too must answer the call of duty. You look like you might actually be useful. Why don't you have a word with my men near the east gate? We're undermanned over there. If we must. <laughs> the thing I find strange is that there's something over there. Okay, that's the quest for Orum Vale. Yeah. Oh. What's Hildy doing there? Any halberd wielding bombers shall answer to me. Cell Sword Watchman. You see that just now? No? Hmm. I don't think me eyes were playing tricks on me. <sighs> but there's only one way to be sure. You wait here. Inspector! Over there! Look! What is it, Nashu? Pray tell me what you see. Aha! I see you, demon bird. You will not escape me this time. Why, hello there, my friends. Is that a miss? Oh, it's just Greg. For a moment I thought you might have spotted our thief. Come, Nashu. We have lingered here over long. We must digress post-haste. Well, that's nice. Oh, nice. There's an igloo here. Forgot about that. Hmm. There's not out of the ordinary here either. No luck, hmm? We have scarred every elm of this area to no avail. I can only conclude that. Having learned that his opponent was to be the legendary Inspector Hildebrand, the duelist renounced his criminal ways and retreated into hiding. Or perhaps he is waiting patiently outside the walls for more wagons to leave. That being said, should you decide to venture into the wilderness, you had best arm yourself with more than your wits. I appreciate your concern, Miss Ellie, but a gentleman should abstain from violence unless absolutely necessary. I'll fight for you, Inspector. I even found a weapon to use. Why, the twelve? Is that the self-same spear which propelled me to the Red Moon? Wherever did you find it? It was buried in the snow. Well, one cannot ignore the will of destiny. 
Return to me, Nashu. Or return it to me. Though I will still endeavor to avoid fisticuffs, I will be duly armed should worse come to worst. Now then, we begin our search for the duelist to the east of the observatorium. There's Gilgamesh messing around there. As was Enkidu. Come now, how hard can it be to find a large man dressed in red in Quartus? I don't know what to tell you, lady. I haven't seen any men in a ridiculous outfit. Nope. Oh, nice gob you here. Take your post, my good man, and entrust your safety to me. Inspector Hildebrand is ready for battle. Cor, it's cold out here. Cor is something of her catchphrase or something. Meant to specify a surprise, I suppose. Also the name of a character in Final Fantasy XV, but this predates it. Wherefore art thou, my nefarious nemesis? Twas not the same creature, but one of many. Nevertheless, I know that my weapon is close by. You sense it too, don't you? Nashu is taking her ease there. Greg, I've been meaning to ask, why do you covet this weapon so? If you but beheld it, you would understand. In some way it bore resemblance to a spear, but in other respect it was quite different. It was crowned with a magnificent axe blade. To which was welded a musket barrel. was one of the first weapons I added to my collection after arriving in these lands. Oh, ah, uh, how I yearn to reclaim it, the strongest of spears. <laughs> that weapon of yours bears a striking... A striking resemblance to... to... The strongest of spears! I... I claimed this weapon five years ago. Surely you can be serious. Uh, now you call me Shirley! No matter, give it to me. Give it to me! A reference from the, the movie Airplane, where uh, Leslie Nielsen says, I'm always serious, and don't call me Shirley. This spear and I have traveled together to the very heavens. I will not relinquish it again. This spear and I have bested many a man together. I will not relinquish it again. Then we are at an impasse. Slapstick Japanese humor again. I I can't believe I'm saying this, but well done, Inspector. Thanks to you, we've got the weapon thief in the hack. Miss Ellie, you are grossly misreading our dispute. Greg is a good, honest man, who I am certain has never stolen a weapon in his life. Indeed, I have not. Every weapon I have claimed was by rights mine. Quite so. Each was a trophy for arresting my opponent in single combat. Quite so. I 
believe that constitutes a confession. Seize him. A confession to what? I have done not wrong. Bah, you are all beyond reason. Ah, yes, my plan to secure Greg's confession was utterly flawless, and his capture will be the coup de grace. Or coup de grace. Well, my plan is thus far flawless. Griffin Crossing is still impassable. I know who you are, even if that imbecile doesn't. So let's not mince words. Only you have the skill to face the duelist in battle. Even so, your strength alone will likely not suffice. I suggest you muster what allies you can. Which way did he go, Kukumo? Did you see? Lest you find my advice on supporting, I remind you that our duty supersedes any misbegotten notions of honor you may possess. His name isn't really Greg, is it? Don't ask, lady. Don't ask. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Gilgamesh Albert is actually not something related to his character, but it's rather the Albert carried by Neil Van Darnus, the original uh, Legatus of the 7th Imperial Legion, and the original antagonist of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. It appears that Hildebrand somehow got hold of the weapon and got shot to Dalamid with it, and when he fell down, well, Gilgamesh claimed the weapon. Nashu, Miss Ali, ah, my good man, it is a relief to hear your footfalls. How are you hearing anything? As you have doubtless deduced, I was unable to prevent Greg from escaping through the doors. I must leave the rest to you. Oh good. I was scared that we would have to wait the actual cutscene to actually understand what was going on. My memory isn't the best. Such small stubby legs. Oh my! Yes, it was I behind these doors the whole time! You took so long to arrive, I was getting worried you might have gone lost. Long did I wonder what your role in this play was. A silent guardian, content to watch events unfold with minimal interaction. At the last, I understand. We were fated to duel, you and I. Best me, and you may have the spear. Fail, and your weapons are forfeit. Fair terms, do you not think? I will even extend them to your allies. I, I grant you leave to summon others. After all, it will avail you no advantage. <laughs> For Gilgamesh, it is in beginning time! Oh my! Aww? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Alright, I've gotcha. It occurs to me that I have no idea how to tank this. Probably don't matter, it's a rather simple fight. But yeah, so we gotta use the duty finder to enter the battle on the big bridge. We've seen quite a few references to Final Fantasy V as well. So let's queue up. Might take a while, so we're gonna be switching to Record Keeper for the time being, if you'll give me a second. So, for tonight we're gonna be having a go at the Crystal Tower, most notably the White Dragon fight which is actually somewhat tricky. 
So we're gonna be using a fire team for this, given that the guy is weak to both this as well as lightning. And we're gonna be using basically what I use for 4 star Magicid, as a play, with the exception of Deuce here. Because this guy actually inflicts sap. Alrighty, let's do this. I have no other party prepared for the Crystal Tower, so I'm hoping uh, the queue won't last too long. So if I recall how this fight worked, it is you needed to uh, damage uh, the both of them somewhat equally. Otherwise they'll keep using moves that will paralyze the entire party. I've put a few accessories to deal with that, but it won't work for everything. Now then, Estega. You do your thing. Shell gun you. You get ready to buff up Vincent. Ice Storm. Ice Storm. Meltdown. Wow. Evie did a heck of a job on that guy. Well, good. Okay. You do that. Onion Knight can probably attack him. <laughs> Leaves Aura. Big hit there, but manageable. Deuce will put up Vivas. It's a fairly good party. Losing Deuce isn't ideal, but it doesn't matter in the end. Oh, having Protect would have been useful now, would it? Ow. Server soul to put up the chain. And she'll do her thing. Hmm. Could potentially have had him uh, use the magic set, but I suppose uh, Shelke will do just as well. Vivi is ready. Oh my. Vincent is taking a heck of a beating there. Oh, but it appears uh, our trioler is ready. Cool. So, she'll give me a second. And here we are. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna try to main tank it, but it's possible that they won't let me. As per usual, we'll have a look at the cutscenes once we're done. Oh, you want a grit, huh? Let's do this. Go on, NGU. It's Toad, your favorite. So during the fight, Gilgamesh will actually turn people into Toad, and that Dark Knight has managed to steal uh, Amnity from me. Unfortunate. So while you are transformed into a Toad, well, uh, the Enkidu is actually gonna chase you. It's just too much for me. Not? Ha! I lied. Hereti. Uh, why, I've been here! This is far from the strongest of spears! I feel so betrayed! Goodness gracious! I, uh, just remembered something! Watch out for the bomb! Greg is known to cheat!
Okay. Next round. This time with four in Oh, Hold that thought. I must say, I quite enjoy these tussles. I feel we've gained an understanding. An understanding, and I will pound you! Rocket! The fight. other tank has been turned into a toad. So guess who's gotta catch it? Yeah, that's me. Oh no, he's been minified. My mistake. If I recall this, I think the toads are supposed to jump on him to prevent them from blowing up. Rock, uh, I won't go down so easily. Let's try it. Nope, it's an explosion. Don't stand in it. Or perhaps you do. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Bye bye. And that's it. Simple as that. There's no chest on this, huh? Must be the other fight. Four commendations. Probably because I was the only one remaining. And that's the end of that. How about poor Ildi here? Grown. Why, Greg? Why? Because Greg escaped. Are you dead again, Inspector? How many swords did he drop while? Wait, doesn't that one there look just like El Elizar's sword? But even to my untrained eye, this is obviously counterfeit blade. And so is this one. And this one. What in the world? Gilgamesh has no luck. That's a reference to what happened in Final Fantasy V, where he thought he had found the Excalibur, but somehow ended up with a pathetic weapon. Poor guy. Even in Final Fantasy XII, all of his weapons are actually counterfeits. Alone, yet still armed. Hmm? In any case, he seems satisfied with the Albert. We will proceed with the delivery. If we must. So it's back to Vesper Bay. In order to have a look at the cutscene, we're actually gonna have to actually turn in the quest for this. But yeah, gear, uh, shall we say, power creep has rendered this fight rather nonsensical. It's been pretty much that way since I, I did it. I recall the very first one being a tad more difficult, but not by much. Pretty much face rolling, really. Now then. And it appears we are making good time. Good. Ah, tis more magnificent than I imagined. It will make fine addition to my collection. And with that, our business is concluded. Cheers! I genuinely mean that in your case, by the way. All's well that ends well, right, Inspector? Though it's a shame that Greg turned out to be the thief. There you are, Inspector Briardier. Why did you not wait for me at the docks? Huh?
Hmm? Why are you all staring at me so? Oh, never mind that. Where is my treaty blade? But, didn't we just give you the treaty blade? Aha! A mask! Disguise yourself as the client and let the treaty blade come to you. Take advantage of an existing situation to distract us from the real crime. Brilliant. The man in red never spoke of the treaty blade, only the Albert. Moreover, he always issued his challenges in person. Dear gods, isn't it obvious? What is it like in your funny little brains? It must be so boring. That glasses movement makes you look instantly cool. <laughs> If the man in red did not send the challenge, then who did? Ha. <laughs> Dodge that like a pro. <laughs> One Hildebrand. <laughs> I believe this is addressed to me, condescending Inspector Briardin. Piss off. Four hundred years have I slept, one thousand faces do I wear, what is yours will be mine, I shall come to claim the Lapis Maiden's virtue. Oh my, a many-faced phantom thief, interesting. The design and wording are the same as before, the thief who stole the treaty blade sent this. Yes. Very well. I, and I alone, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, once more accept your challenge. Hi there. You want a challenge, huh? Stand and face me, you buffoon! <laughs> Yo, Inspector! How dare you all laugh at a time like this, after allowing my precious treaty blade to be stolen! And you, Maria! Huh. Well, I suppose it is a little funny, isn't it? The two of them dashing to and fro, a pair of gentlemen mummers. <laughs> you know, it's been far too long since we've seen a show. We should head into the city later, just you and me. Not bad, Hildy, not bad at all. You're indeed a Manderville man. Mark, mark my face, O oh phantom of many faces. For it is the f the face of the of the huh. You'll notice that the big bridge fight was actually different from what was previewed. That's because those are done before the content is actually released. Riven's Crossing was actually fairly similar to something that happened in Final Fantasy V as well.
The fiend dares to lay claim to the fair maiden's virtue. A seeds of jealousy quicken within an inspector's soul. Can true love bloom on this battlefield? Will this Manderville man find his Manderville wife? A case of indecency. Hildebrand will return. And whatever is that thing doing there? <laughs> hey, what's with the goggles those men were wearing? They look special! Maybe if asked nicely, they'll give me a pair. I guess we'll find out next time. Bye bye! Yeah, kissy face. Well, that's it for this, and that's where we'll pick up next time. So let's head over back to Limsolo Minsa to have a look at those cutscenes for uh, the battle on the big bridge. So, uh, the F castle. And back to our room. Originally, people didn't like uh, content being gated behind those the Ildebrand quests. They did it again in Stormblood, but uh, it's not something that they do regularly. They didn't in Heaven's Word at the very least. So, battle on the big bridge. Nice. Um, well then. That's enough of a beating for now. Oh my! Uh... <laughs> Kikumo's like, what? <laughs> uh, to be expected of the Elderbrand questline. So, uh, let's switch over to Record Keeper and finish what we started. Okay, here we are. Let's hope that Deuce can save Vincent, cause we'll need it. I mean, Vivi and Onion might be able to do something, but uh, things aren't looking too good. Ah, damn it. Apocalypse Ice Storm. That was I was afraid of. Damn it. Uh, whoops. Tagged the wrong one, too. That could have repercussions. Thankfully, Vivi was saved by his trance. Whew, he didn't counter. Good. Oh, come on, Vivi. Three hits, though, that's good. Save me! <sighs> Thank you. Couldn't equip uh, ice uh, resistance equipment because uh, I actually needed protection from paralysis on this. Which probably won't matter at this rate. Yep. 
Oh well, let's give this another shot and try not to mess up this time around. It is also possible that my setup won't work at all. Wouldn't be the first time. It is possible that those storm are actually physical attacks. By going a little slower, I should be mostly fine. Vivi will do his thing, she'll put up shell gas, she'll rat. I think we might have gotten slowed during the battle too. I didn't see the ace uh, throughout the fight. And then again, this fight is tricky, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Vincent will do his thing. Onion is gonna attack. She's gonna do whatever. Or put up Vivas. That sounds like a good idea. Probably... Uh, the spot in the middle where Vincent is is rather worrisome. Not to mention the fact that Vincent uh, isn't particularly good at taking damage. An unfortunate thing. Howie. So, Cerberus Soul. Kurada for her. Not seeing the Astaga. Ultimate Ice Storm, wonderful. And this one. You do the cure and hopefully save Vincent. But unfortunately, Apocalypse Ice Storm. Ouch. Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. Not so sure how I'm gonna deal with that. Hmm. I'll give this another shot on my own time. So anyway, I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, maybe follow the stream. Maybe leave a comment if you're on YouTube. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.